Hey, what's up everyone? Good fucking morning. Um, looking forward to a great fucking day. Um, today is going to be back and triceps. So, uh, you know, interesting workout. We're going to superset back and triceps, which I don't know if you guys remember, but that was the first workout we did in the very first series. Um, day one was back and triceps, supersetted. I trained at Gold's Venice and I was working out with like fucking, I think, seven or eight people. <laughs> so it was a little complicated of a fucking training video because there was just too much to follow, you know, but it was, we had a good time. I have to say that, I had a great fucking time. So, um, all right, so back and tricep supersetted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with uh, assisted T-bar rows, supersetted with close grip bench, you know, and I'm gonna use the hammer incline machine, which you guys have seen me use, and I explained it all, you know, the last video, last tricep workout, I believe. So that's gonna be the first superset. It is gonna be um, assisted, you know, T-bar rows supersetted with close grip bench on the hammer incline. And, you know, at Goals North Hollywood, those machines are right next to each other. So there's, you know, kind of a reason why I'm doing that superset because, you know, they're right next to each other. It makes it real easy, you know, and they're both great exercises. Um, so I'm gonna start off with, you know, 20 reps and 20 reps, you know. So the first set's gonna be 40 reps, you know, 20, 20. No, no break in between. Superset is no rest, just bam, bam, and then you rest. So it's gonna be uh, five sets, and it's gonna be 20, 20, 16, 16, uh, 12, 12, 10, 10, and 8, 8. You know, so, uh, you know, we're gonna pyramid every set, gonna add some weight. And, uh, you know, supersets are hard because you're doing, you know, twice as much work and there's no rest between sets. You know, so it's, uh, you know, it, it's gonna take a little more wind, burn a little more calories and, uh, you know, but it's gonna be fucking fun. <laughs> so next superset is gonna be regular T-bar rows. So standing T-bar rows, supersetted with cable pushdowns. And, you know, again, at my gym, those two machines are fairly close together, so it makes it easy to superset. So I apologize, because at your gym, they're probably on the other fucking opposite ends of the room, <laughs> so it's gonna be a nightmare trying to superset and then walk to the other side of the gym to do, to do the other set, you know? So it's probably not gonna work out as good unless you train in North Hollywood, then you'll be, you have the perfect workout. So, um, so we're gonna do the same thing, you know, five sets, uh, same thing, 20, 16, 12, 10, eight. Uh, then the third superset is going to be lat pulls, uh, supersetted with overhead tricep extensions. Um, and, you know, lat pulls to the front, you know, I, I do them to the rear, you know, behind the head, but not too often. But I do, I do, I do get them in there. I do, I do think those are a great exercise. You just got to be careful and you got to lean forward. And if you do them right, it's not going to fuck the shoulder up, joint up. It's not like doing behind the neck presses. So, but it doesn't matter, we're not doing those, so why am I talking about it? So let's, we're gonna do lat pulls to the front, superseted with overhead tricep extensions. Now, you know, I use the cable machine uh, for this exercise. Now, if your gym doesn't have a cable machine, you can simply use, you know, a barbell, or a lot of people like to use a dumbbell. You know, seated, dumbbell over your head, you know, and bring the dumbbell behind your head. Um, you know, either way is, uh, you know, is gonna work. And uh, I just prefer the cable. And also the cable's right next to the goddamn lap pull machine at Hills of Hollywood, so there you go. Um, so same thing, we're gonna do five sets, uh, but the reps are gonna be different. We're gonna do five sets, and we're gonna keep the reps between eight and 12. So we're gonna go a little bit heavier on these. Um, the first set will be 12 reps, we'll raise the weight, and uh, you know, and probably stay at the second, same weight, second, third, fourth, and fifth set, you know, getting around, you know, eight to 10 reps. Um, then the fourth exercise is gonna be standing bent over cable rows, okay? You guys have seen me do these. In fact, I might have done them in the last back workout, um, but it's a great fucking exercise. And you know, I, I purposely go very light on these. I mean, I'm probably doing half the weight I could do because for some reason when I go super light, I just get an incredible squeeze, stretch, and my back gets pumped to shit, you know? So I, I go, you know, Somewhat heavy on the other exercises in this one. This one just feels really good light. It's just, I'm just going by feel, you know, so I go actually pretty light on that one. And that is going to be supersetted with rope pushdowns. And, um, you know, and the rep range is, is basically going to be the same as the first ones. Um, it's going to be 20, 16, 12, 10. But then the last set, we're going to do 30 reps. 
And the reasoning for that is just to just pump the shit out of the muscles, out of the back and tries, you know, just get an insane pump so we can leave the gym with an insane pump. And, you know, it's very, in my opinion, it's very, very important to leave the gym with an incredible pump. You know, when you walk out those doors, you want to have just the craziest pump and just feel like you're on top of the world, you know, and you're leaving the gym and your brain is, is just on a high and your muscles are so pumped and your mind is just thinking about, holy fuck, man, my fucking muscles are on fire, full veins out, you know, it's just a great feeling. And, you know, I really think it makes a difference um, psychologically leaving the gym with an incredible pump. You know, I really think that psychologically it, it, it it's definitely benefits us. You know, I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's important and, you know, there's a lot of little tiny things, you know, in this whole, you know, bodybuilding, you know, that, that make, make a difference. All these little things added up, you know, and I'm showing you all these little pointers, you know, all these little tricks. And I don't know if they're necessarily tricks, but just, you know, just good information. And all these things add up and all of them put together, you know, makes a huge difference. So, uh, so leave the gym with a pump and, you know, drink that shake right fucking right away. You know, you, you should be drinking that shake you know, before you leave the gym, you should be fucking drinking that shit. You know, within a minute after you fucking put the weight down, you should be drinking that shit. Very, very, very important. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, they'll wait till they get home. And then when they get home, they'll make their shake. And it's just, that is, don't do that. It's just because what happens is you're driving home and someone calls you. You get home and then someone's talking to you. And, you know, by the time you make the shake and drink it, you know, a fucking half an hour, hour could go by. You know, so it's not worth, you know, taking that chance. It's better to make the shake, bring it to the gym, and drink that shit right when you get done working out, you know, before you even leave the gym. That's the best fucking scenario. You know, I, sometimes I'm so super busy. I got shit. I got to be somewhere, you know, within minutes after I finish working out. So I, I'm on the go, you know, but, you know, I believe it's best to get in the habit of drinking that shit right when you finish. Um, so anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys have a great fucking day. And later on, I'm gonna throw in some financial talk. Um, a lot of people have been been asking me to do that, you know. And I've been getting it on my Instagram. Um, you know, people have been emailing me. You know, at, X, at the last LA Expo, everyone was saying, "Rich, you got to talk more about you know financial stuff." You know, please, it's such a big help, and you know, it's 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 really that information is really useful. And so I'm getting a lot of that. So you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. You know, you guys want to hear that shit? Then I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it. So uh, in this video, you guys are going to hear me talk, um, you know, about something, something to do with uh, getting ahead, you know, opening a business, you know, whatever it may be, you know, and I'll throw a little bit in here and there on the, on the videos. And so anyway, I'm going to go hop my ass on cardio and get this day started, 30 minutes. And uh, um, anyway, I hope you guys have a great fucking day. All right, I'm on meal number two, and it's spicy chicken pasta, and pretty fucking spicy I have to say it's uh it's definitely definitely pretty spicy but it's good it's something different you know and uh, I'm not a big spicy fan um truth be told when it comes to spicy foods I'm a fucking pussy <laughs> and uh, that's for sure but um but yeah but this is it's actually it's it's decent you know it's, it's uh, I can deal with it but you know if it's so hot that it burns my mouth I don't see the point in eating it, it makes no sense all right it is shake time post-workout shake time. Hey, I'm sorry you guys uh, were out of stock on real food. Um, it, it honestly, it doesn't make any sense. And the truth is, is there is other places that have sweet potatoes and yams available, but you would not believe the difference in taste. Like, it tastes horrible. And, you know, it's like, what do you do? Do you get the horrible shit? And, you know, I, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not nearly as good. And you know, it's just, to me, the quality is more important, so I apologize that we're out of stock. But, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be back in, in less than a week, so uh, it's all good. All right, three scoops, goddammit. Three scoops, my little miniature egg whites. <laughs> right, and, babe. I think it's going to be a special K day. Ooh. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm so spoiled. I really am. Oh, shit. That was a little much. 
That was a complete accident, by the way, that I put that much in there. Yeah, right. Complete accident. <laughs> All of a sudden, oh, the, the whole box. Fucking uh, 20 tubs of real food, <laughs> so my ass didn't run out. Oi! Brand new fucking jug, goddammit. They sent me. Oh, I didn't open my package on fucking camera, babe. Oh shit. We got two packages today. Yeah. Oh man. God yeah, that. we got fucking like 12 jugs, some food, some fucking sweatshirts, all kinds of good shit. Yeah. All right, so baby, what, what color hat? What color hat should I wear? <laughs> I got green, I got black, I got red, I got charcoal gray, I got. Blue, baby blue, I got every fucking color. I don't know what's with this yellow, orange, fucking white shit. I ain't never wearing that. <laughs> what do you think, babe? Green. I know what color I want. Green. I already know. What? Green. You guessed it, god damn it. Woohoo. And I put it on top, hoping that would, you know, sway you in that direction. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it worked. Yeah. But I hate to say it, but I was going to wear every green regardless of what you told me. Oh, yeah. Because look, god damn it. Uh, uh. I already had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's matching. I already had a plan. Aha. Uh -huh. Right? Perfect. So check out these belts. These belts were made by Mr. Cardillo, goddammit. That's Sarah's. Fucking kill it. 5%. 5% is for life, goddammit. Right? Cardillo. That's what I'm talking about. Sick. And I don't even know. This is Someone made this for me. I'm not sure who made it. But, uh. Anyway, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yep. Walked up on our way to the gym. And we got a little bit of an earlier start than normal. The fucking sun shining. Look what a beautiful day it is. It's like, it's. I think it's like, it feels like it's in the 80s. I don't know if it is, but it feels like it's like fucking 80 degrees outside. Right, babe? It's like so fucking beautiful. It's very it's nice outside. Awesome. So, so nice. So, uh. What am I gonna train today? That's the question. I don't know. Yeah. You tell me. I, I'm pretty much up for anything because yesterday was calves and forms. So that was kind of like a day off, and today I can do chest. I can do back. I can do shoulders. So I gotta listen to my body. What's my body telling me to do? My body's telling me to fucking eat a cookie and go back home. Go back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm definitely, I'm definitely in the mood to fucking work out. Definitely. And the gym is going to be, I think, pretty dead right now, which is perfect. We've been going at, at night lately, and it's been fucking packed. It's been awful. Packed with people i never seen before in my life. They're probably just there waiting for you or it's something. It's like a fucking, yeah, it's just like right. not the same. What's up, what's up? <laughs> guy that washes our cars over there. Uh, yeah, he's done though. He's all packed up. Oh, really? Yeah, so, shit, I haven't had him wash. I know, forever. <laughs> Front row parking. Front row parking, God damn it! Block these motorcycles in. Yep. Uh-oh, I said yep. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the gym's fucking dead. Look at the parking lot. I know. There ain't nobody anywhere. It's perfect. Yep. Perfect. Oh shit, busted. <laughs> oh. All right guys, the best advice I can give you, the worst thing you can do is eat something right before you go in the gym and work out. That's the worst thing you can fucking do because it interferes with your pump, it interferes with your body, and it interferes with what's going on. So the worst thing you can do 
is eat something right before you go in the gym and train. So, do not do what I'm doing. It's not the best scenario, but I have a fucking problem, and I haven't had a cookie since yesterday. <laughs> so, I need to have my fucking cookie fix. So, I walked in the gym. When you walk into Gorgeous Hollywood, the cookies are right fucking there. As you walk in, that's the first thing you see. I couldn't resist, man. I had to buy a fucking cookie. So, since you see me doing this shit, that doesn't mean that it's the right thing to do. So I'm telling you guys, do not eat right before you train. You need at least an hour, hour and a half, um, no food in the stomach, because it will affect your pump. What can I say, man? I couldn't fucking, I couldn't control myself. <laughs> so, wait till after the workout. Then eat everything in sight. Chocolate fucking shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> look how look how thick the shake is. <laughs> it won't even shake up. It's so thick. Well, Cause all the fucking cereal. I put too much cereal. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Holy shit. It's gonna be like drinking fucking glue. <laughs> Mmm, so fucking good though. Mm. Fuck. Good ass shit, babe. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> yeah. So we just got done training back and tries superset. So we supersetted back and tries, and it's a pretty sick workout. You know, you're, you're, you're supersetting the antagonist muscles, which they're not exactly, you know, the opposites as say buys and tries or back and chest, but it's still, when you're doing a lat pull, for instance, as you stretch the lat, you're also stretching the tricep, you know? So it's, uh, um, it's, it's a good workout. It, uh, it works out nice. And so, you know, obviously the next, when we do chest, we'll do buys and um, you know, he's got to keep mixing that shit up, keeping it different, keeping the body guessing, keeping the body confused. And I threw in a couple new exercises, you know, so uh, at least, at least I think they're new, maybe not, but uh, hopefully they're new. And, um, you know, it's got to keep mixing it up. That's the most important factor. And drink the fucking shake right after the workout. I shouldn't, this shake should be, I should have started before I got in the car. So I fucked up, you know, I waited a minute too long. I should have been drinking this shit as soon as I fucking grabbed my bag. I should have opened this up and started drinking it on the way to the car. So uh, that's 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 the way it is. As soon as you stop, as soon as you finish your workout, you start fucking feeding the muscles. You got to replenish that glycogen, and um, you know, keep that pump. Right now, my back and tries are just pumped to shit. It feels so good. And, you know, it's the best feeling is leaving the gym with an incredible pump. And, you know, that's the whole reason that, you know, it it doesn't make any sense. Well, it does in a sense. It depends on what your goals are, what you're trying to achieve. But doing cardio right after you work out, it honestly, it just so much goes against, you know, building muscle. And let me tell you why is, is the obvious is, you know, when I finish training, I got a huge pump, like right now in my tries and back, and it's still there, and that pump's gonna be there for another hour to two hours, you know? And now I'm replenishing the glycogen, and right now my body's going to work on helping those muscles recuperate right away, you know? We're talking about right now, you know, my muscles are, are recuperating and, you know, getting the benefits from the carbs, and, you know, also keeping that blood in the muscle you know, is a huge benefit. Now, if I was to jump on cardio right after I finish training, I'm gonna suck all the blood out of my back and triceps and it's gonna go to my legs. So I'm like robbing my muscles of everything, you know, and I'm missing out on, on drinking my post-workout shake and replenishing the glycogen and getting my muscles on, you know, on their way to recuperating. So think about it logically, you know, it, it, it totally defeats the purpose. It goes against, you know, the whole purpose of trying to build muscle, doing cardio after you work out, you know, and people, the most important thing that I stress over and over and over again is you have to not go by what you read. You have to think about it and use your brain and logically decide what is the best scenario. In other words, if I explain like what I just explained and it makes perfect logical sense that getting on cardio after pumping your muscle up sucks all the blood away from that muscle and into the legs and definitely, you know, takes away from the repair process and, you know, just kills your pump. Now, thinking about that logically, you can come to the conclusion that that's true, right? Makes perfect sense. So it doesn't, I don't give a fuck who said what you read, so-and-so said, it doesn't fucking matter what anyone said, who said what. 
you can't just go by what you read. You have to use your own brain and come to your own conclusion. That's what's so important that people lack is people just want to follow other people. And I'm telling you, you have to learn to question everything and think about things and come up with your own solution. Now, if you know the top bodybuilder in the world tells me something, just because he's the top bodybuilder in the world doesn't mean that it's right. It doesn't mean that, that that's the right thing to do. You know, I still am gonna think about it logically and come to my own conclusion. You know, and it's very important that that people get in the habit of using their brain and thinking about coming up with the, the right answer on their own. Yeah, you listen to what people say and you use that as a guideline and then you sit and analyze it and come up with your own, you know, own uh, scenario of what is correct and what isn't, you know, and uh, that's the most important thing when it comes to everything in life is, you know, you have to use your own brain and think about shit. So that's all I ask is, you know, if, if I put something out there, think about it and, you know, you come up with your own solution. But, you know, it, 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 it's it's crazy when people, when you, you say something, people say, well, so-and-so said this. And it's like, who gives a fuck what anyone said? What, what do you think? Like, what sounds right to you, <laughs> you know? And, you know, if you have somewhat of a brain, you'll be able to come to the same conclusion that, yeah, that makes sense, right? So that's, 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 that's the thing is that most of my, most of my knowledge is fucking common sense, you know, that we all have. It's just common sense of, of using my brain and figuring out, yeah, you know, hello. So um, anyway, sorry about that little rant, but I just have to stress that, 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 you know, you, you really have to think about it and come up with your own conclusion. If what I say doesn't make logical sense, then I could be wrong. You know, just because I have bigger arms than you doesn't mean that I know, you know, how to do curls better than you. You know, it's just I've been training for 30 fucking years, taking a shitload of steroids, and maybe my arms are bigger than yours because of that. You know, it doesn't mean that I know how to do a curl better. You know, someone with 16 inch arms could know how to curl better than me, possibly, you know? So you got to remember that, that, you know, it's, it doesn't necessarily, you know, so question everything. You know, when I tell you something, question it, use your brain, think about it. Does it make sense? So I try to explain my reasoning behind everything so it does make sense. But yeah, so, you know, that's, if you're doing cardio, it, it really, really affects, you know, your, your growth immensely if you do cardio right after you train. You know, you're missing that post-workout shake. You're, you know, you just think about it. You know, it's, it's, it's clear. You know, so the best time to do cardio, as you guys already know, is, you know, in the morning on empty stomach. You know, you wake up first thing, hop on cardio, empty stomach. You know, um, you know, and other times, um, you know, you just, you just don't want to do it. And also, you don't want to do it before your workout. You know, because then, you know, you're using up all your glycogen and all your energy that you need for your workout in your cardio. So when you get to your workout, you know, you've already exhausted a lot of your energy storage, you know, and so it's, you know, and you need those carbs when you train to get that crazy pump. You know, those carbs in your system is what enables you to get a crazy pump, you know, so definitely, you know, you don't want to do cardio before you work out or after you work out. I mean, you know, if, I mean, obviously, you know, there's certain things that we don't have a choice, you know, in life, you know, you have fucking a full-time job and you have four kids and you have a wife and you, you know, well, you know, you can't, when it comes to the fucking lifting weights, you can't do everything perfect because you have other priorities, you know, that, that are more important. So, you know, again, you know, you can only do what you can do. So, you know, I just want everyone to know the best scenario and then you do the best you can, you know, at, you know, doing the best scenario. Fucking crazy ass traffic. Fuck, look at this, babe. I don't think I'm even gonna make it over to the fucking lane. Look at this shit. Fucking cutting everyone off. Fucking pissing everyone off. Right? Fuck. Welcome to my world. <laughs> the world of pissing everyone off when I'm driving. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. Fuck. Fucking, where's all this fucking traffic coming from? Jesus Christ. Friday night. Right? All these people have jobs getting off work. They're excited for the weekend. Friday? It's Saturday. <laughs> right? Where's Friday? It's Friday. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fail. Are you sure? Positive. 
Hold on, I'm gonna check. I'm positive. It's Friday. God damn it. Jesus. <laughs> uh, you're right. It's Friday. Fuck. Hell yeah. Man, the shake is fucking good. So anyway, guys, yeah. So cardio, don't do it after workout. Don't do it before the workout. Best time to do it is, you know, as long as it, the most important thing is separate it from your workout, you know. And if you can't do that, you don't have a choice, you know, then you know, fuck it. You can only do what you can do, you know. So, but as long as long as you know the best scenario, you know, that's that's what's most important. All right, I'm on meal number five, and uh, I'm having the spicy chicken and pasta. Yum yum, and. A lot of people have been asking on my Instagram uh, what food service I use. And so for the people that don't know, um, this is my food service basically. 5% um, nutrition, you know, we're starting um, a whole, you know, food service uh, delivery to your door, you know, and uh, I'm the first customer. So, um, you know, um, this is my shit, this is like my, I think, fifth week. Um, of doing it and you know it's I'm fucking loving it and um, so this shit will be available probably in about I want to say two to three weeks is what I'm looking at two to three weeks maybe four weeks you know we're trying to get everything together and um, I think I told everyone that you know the, the, the most important thing is the quality the quality of the food you know the meats cannot be fucking you know they're so many companies that are using processed fucking meat and that's just it's fucking awful it tastes awful you know it's just it's 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 disgusting so you know the most important thing is the quality of the food you know obviously and you know what most companies do when it comes to anything is they come out with a good product they get people hooked on that shit and they get all the customers and then what do they do they pull the old switcheroo and they change the quality on you you know, and what they don't realize is people are not that fucking stupid, you know. I mean, they can real, they see, and they can taste the difference. And as soon as you, you know, do the whole flip and change the quality and to try to make more money because you're fucking greedy as fuck, guess what? You start losing fucking customers. And guess what? Eventually, you fucking business goes under. And I don't understand. It's the greed. Just people just have no control when it comes to fucking money. You know, the greed takes over and they just got to fucking make more, you know, and it's like, Jesus Christ, you know, think about the long term. Think about, you know, have the business for, you know, 10, 15, 20 years. You know, you're not trying to fucking to, to make all your money in a year. You know, come on, it's long term, you know, and the most important thing is, you know, the fucking quality of the food, you know, and it's just it's crazy. But every fucking company does the same shit. And I'm not just talking about food service, I'm talking about anything, is, you know, they, they fucking get you hooked, and then they fucking change the quality to make more profit, and, you know, and it's like, you know, the thing is, is that there's a lot of companies that get away with it, you know, and so other companies, you know, follow in their footsteps, you know, but, you know, it, come on, man, I mean, you know, it's, 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 you do the right thing, you know, in the end, it's going to be the best scenario for you, so, number two, the most important, you know, the second most important thing is the price, and, you know, that I think is, I think that's the, the hardest part about, you know, this business is, you know, people can't fucking afford it. You know, people just can't afford to pay 10, 11, $12 a meal. I mean, it's just, you can't. Why the fuck would you pay 10, 11, $12 a meal when you can go shop at Costco, you know, and make your meals for fucking $3 a meal, right? Why the fuck? That, that's just, that's to, to take it from $3 to ten dollars, it's like that. That's a lot of fucking money, and you know, per meal, adding that up per month, you know, you're talking about thousands of dollars, you know, and people just don't have that kind of money. So that's that's the biggest problem that I see with the food delivery services. Most people they just can't afford that shit. So, you know, so my goal is to come out with obviously food that people can fucking afford. So a one first is the quality. Number two is that people can afford that shit, you know, and I would rather cut my profits, you know, and like I've said this before, I'd rather have thousands of customers, you know, and maybe making a dollar a fucking meal rather than trying to make three or four dollars a meal and have fucking a couple hundred customers, you know, it's just logic, you know, it's just business sense, you know, it's like, and it's, 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 
not being greedy, you know, and in the long run, you're going to make more money by giving the customers a better deal. In the end, you're going to make more money. And, you know, that's the bottom line. And that's just business sense, you know, so I'm coming out with the meals. My meals are going to be, you know, by far the cheapest, the, the cheapest meals out there. People can afford that shit and the best fucking quality, you know, and fine. I'm not making, you know, that much profit per meal, but the truth be told, like, I don't, you know, I'm making a shitload of money with all the other things I'm doing. There's no reason to be greedy and try to fucking get every fucking penny I can. You know what I'm saying? Like, try to sell a meal and how much can I fucking get? How much can I make on this fucking meal? You know, no, you know what? If you have a successful business and you're making money and you're selling product, then you're fucking doing good. You know, and that's the whole point. So, I'm looking at, I mean, you can see it's a good size meal. You know, as you see me eating them every day, I'm putting on size, putting on weight. And I'm looking at selling these meals at six bucks a pop, all right? Now, six dollars a meal, <laughs> I, think, I think everyone can afford. And I think, that's, I think that's doable. I think everyone out there can, I think the convenience factor of having the food shipped to your house, already made, already in a fucking container, and all you do is pop it in the microwave, the convenience of that is unbelievable. I mean, I'm telling you guys, if you haven't ever had the, the, the luxury of having a food service, it, it's unbelievable. You know, it makes life so much easier. You know, having to go grocery shopping, having to cook the fucking food, having to put it in the fucking Tupperwares. You know, it, it's a pain in the fucking ass. That's honestly the worst part about bodybuilding, in my opinion, was fucking cooking the food and fucking grocery shopping and, you know, eating the food is the easy part, you know? It's fucking making the food. So, you know, I... I you know, you see, the only food I make is breakfast, and a lot of times I just have a shake. You know, so um, you guys give me your feedback and let me know what you think. And if you have any other uh, suggestions or ideas, or you guys have used other meal prep companies, and you know, you want to give me, you know, some some helpful tips, I welcome it. You know, I welcome it because uh, you know I'm still learning. You know, and I think we're all still learning. You know, we all, none of us know everything, and you know, it's. You know, it's, I help you guys, you guys help me, it's fucking awesome, you know, and like I said, I don't read the YouTube comments, hate to break it to you, <laughs> but, you know, last I heard, or last I knew, those, those comments were probably 80, 90% negative, you know, and it doesn't really make any sense for me to sit and read a bunch of negative shit, you know, it doesn't really do me any good, you know, and so I, on my Instagram, you know, it's probably, you know, it's probably 90 something percent positive, you know, and there's a lot... I get a lot of useful information, you know, from people's comments on my Instagram. I honestly do. And um, I know people, you know, a lot of people are bothered that I don't answer back, you know. And I, I try and there's times when I get on a little roll where I start answering people back. And then next thing you know, I'm swamped with shit and I just don't have the time, you know. And right now with these videos, man, I don't have time for anything, you know. But I do have time to read the comments and I do read them. And I just want to thank everyone for your useful tips and... You know, I, it, a, a lot of things I've read have helped me in, you know, making certain decisions on certain things, you know, and I listen to you guys. And so I appreciate the, you know, the, the positive criticism and, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it helps. And uh, so keep it coming, you know, keep it coming. And uh, I'm going to try my hardest to, to fucking to, to keep, you know, to keep answering those comments. I know the last couple of weeks I haven't been answering anyone, you know, and um, maybe three or four weeks ago, I was doing pretty good. You know, I was, I'd probably answer maybe, you know, I'd say 15 to, to 25 people, you know, every single post, you know, which, um, you know, which is good. And, you know, I, I have to run my own social media. I will never have someone else run my social media. You know, it's something that, that I am always going to be doing myself. I will never have someone else answer questions. You know, I could never do that because, you know, I, you know, I can't, no one knows what I'm going to say and I can't, you know, it just doesn't, that would not make any fucking sense. I would go against everything I'm doing, you know, um, so that's never going to happen. I do run all my social media, you know, when it comes to my YouTube, you know, Sarah films, you know, me and Sarah film and I edit every fucking thing, you know, nobody helps me with anything. And that's why a lot of time things are fucked up <laughs> as you guys know, but Hey, you know what? It feels good to know that I'm doing all this shit on my own. You know, my and my Instagram, I don't really go on Facebook that much, but you know, I run those also. So anything you see, 
anything that's said is, you know, is me, definitely. So anyway, I'm going to eat this fucking meal, and um, what we want to do is I'm going to talk about some financial shit, right? People have been wanting me to talk about, you know, different financial things and, you know, the stock market, real estate, you know, opening a business, you know, how to make money in the fitness industry. There's a lot of subject matter that people want to hear and they constantly hit me up on Instagram, emails, you know, asking for this. And, you know, at LA Expo, uh, at all the expos, people come up and a lot of people say that I've helped them, you know, Rich, you know, I bought my first house and it was because of, you know, the video where you talked about blah, 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 you know, and I just want to thank you. So um, it, it feels great to know that I'm helping people in, in those types of aspects, you know, rather than just the body and working out, I'm helping people with their financial future, you know, with their, their, their success, you know, what road they take as far as, you know, um, um, you know, what direction they're going to go, you know, in life. And that feels great. So uh, I'm going to eat this meal. It's going to take me about two fucking minutes. And then I'm coming right back at you to talk about some financial shit. So, uh, 